Okay guys, here's another productive technique that works real well on uh, especially sh slow, slow days. Um, uh, it, it, again, it's the same kind of tackle. All you're doing is just adjusting the, uh, the uh, technique and the setup. And what I do here is take the same hook, the uh, fine wire 2, 2x um, trout worm hook, Again, it's, it's a, a small hook, but you can land big fish with it. What I like to do is, um, we're doing a, it's a drop shot technique, and it's, and it's actually used for bass fishing um, on, during the winter in clear, clear water impoundments, but the trout fishermen applied that to their techniques uh, for trout, and it worked very well on big fish. Slide it through, come back around, and I like making a, a little bit longer leader, not as long as the, uh, the uh, split shot technique, but you want at least uh, two feet on the drop shot. It's always a rule of the thumb, at least uh, a, a two foot leader. And then you go to tie your Palomar knot. And what's different about after you're done tying that Palomar knot, you want to take your, your uh, tag in that you're going to adjust your leader to and bring the tip of that line back through the bottom end of, of the hook. And the reason is, is so that hook will stand straight out like that. That's the way your bait's going to be sticking straight out off of that hook. Then you go about a foot and a half to two foot leader, whatever your desired length is, and you want to take and do an overhand knot. You want a little knot at the end of that, and the reason is for that is so when you put your split shot on and you crimp it down, that the uh, knot doesn't come through the split shot. It doesn't, when you're casting, it won't slide off. So it locks in, in, uh, locks in that split shot at the end there. So when you're casting, it doesn't come off. And then with, with the, uh, the way you put your, your bait on is the same way as I was telling you before, you take the hook and run it through the top part of the bait about down about a quarter of an inch and you want it sit, sitting straight out like that. That's the uh, best action, um, the way to rig that worm so that worm sticks straight out like that and gives you the best action when you're working it. Uh, we just got done showing you the split shot technique. Now this is uh, similar to that. You, just, you can work this bait a lot slower or a lot faster. Um, I prefer to work it a lot slower and it's, it's kind of like working a, a plastic worm for largemouth bass. But what you want to do is, is cast out, let it sink to the bottom. And when it reaches the bottom, you want to tighten up that slack line and just slowly bounce your rod as you're rising your rod. And just keep doing that all the way back to the boat. You don't want to work it too fast and too sharp. You just want a little shake, 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 shake about four or five, six times. Stop, reel the slack in, let it sit, let it sit there a little bit and then start the whole process over again. Shake, 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 stop, shake, 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 stop. Drop your rod tip, reel the slack in, shake it. And you do that over and over and over again all the way back to the boat. And the bite is going to be more of a subtle bite. It's going to be like a bluegill or a light tap. It's going to tap, 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 tap. Sometimes I'll hit it three or four times. You want to let them eat it. So don't set the hook right away like a lot of people do and they miss the fish. What you want to do is just let it load up. You'll see the rod tip start loading up. What I mean by loading up, you'll feel the pressure. The rod tip starts to go down. Uh, with a parabolic rod, you allow him to take a little bit of that line before setting the hook.
kind of like letting them eat a crawler, a night crawler or, or bait. Just shake, 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 drop it, shake, 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 drop it. What you want to do is you don't want to set the hook too high. When you get bit, you don't want your rod tip up here at that one or two o'clock angle. You want to reel it, reel down and keep your rod tip between that nine o'clock and eleven o'clock zone from right here to right here. You don't want it too high because if you get bit right here, you have a better angle at setting that hook and driving that hook home as opposed to way up here. A lot of people want to work their rods to the left or to the right like that. Uh, they feel comfortable seeing the line, but what you really want to do is is um, have that line out away from the boat. You work in the bait like this and you get bit. You want that rod pointing directly at where you made your cast and where the line's going in the water. It's just better to keep your rod in front of you between the 9 and 11 o'clock zone so you have a better hook set. Not to the left and not to the right. Uh, some people want to work it one way or another to the left or the right, but when they get bit, they don't have a really good uh, pressure to drive that hook home that way because there's too much slack in the line and too much bend in the line. You want to keep it right in front of you and keep that slack out of the line uh, when you're working your bait. The only time you want it sitting there on the bottom, slack line, is, is to tell you that you're on the bottom then you reel up the slack and you continue that, that uh, balancing technique all the way back to the boat. You stop, make sure it's on the bottom, and work that all the way back to the boat. Now there are times where you want to work it like a mini jig or, or a, a split shot in a trout worm by casting out if you happen to see fish breaking out there away from the boat. And as soon as it hits the water, then you want to start your retrieve, a slow retrieve uh, by bouncing the tip. It's still drop shot technique but it's very similar to working a mini jig or a uh, split shot. Same techniques involved, uh, just different ways of, of um, catching the fish.